and here we've got the bulk of our electrical system which I have to admit was a bit of a challenge to fit everything in this one compartment but it fits and it all works and one of the most important things is this Victron Multi Plus 2 which is a 3000 watt inverter charger so it uh, can run pretty much anything we throw at it it can run the air conditioner it can run our induction cooktop all off the battery power and it also charges our battery back up underneath of all this we've got a 400 amp hour lithium battery and i built this stand over top of it so that everything could fit in here there's definitely not any extra space but the battery is actually powerful enough that it can run our air conditioning throughout the night we are about empty by the time morning rolls around but um, the important part it makes it through the night and then we can always start up the generator and uh, start getting solar power whenever the sun comes up up here we've got our solar charger on the roof of the camper we've got 800 watts of solar panels just the flexible Renogy stick-on kind and everything runs down to this solar controller another thing I added was these two fans here which are actually just uh, like computer cooling fans uh, just because I've got so much stuff packed into this little compartment whenever we're driving we turn on those fans really if we're charging the battery we're, or we're running the air conditioning unit I always like to have these fans on just because a lot of heat gets generated there this gadget over here is actually called a Victron smart shunt and all it does is pretty much monitor the uh, usage uh, of the battery so like if we turn on the air conditioner or the cooktop or whatever it'll show you how many watts you're pulling from the battery and also what percentage the battery is at the last main part to our power system is actually our dc to dc charger i'd open this uh, spot here this drawer here but you can't really see it because it's tucked underneath the water heater all it does is takes energy from the alternator and converts it into the, an acceptable form for the lithium battery. Uh, so that way whenever we're driving, we um, can charge the battery with the truck alternator and also still the solar panel. So it's a good way to get some extra power. Some of the other things we've added are this air conditioning unit. We picked it because it's very quiet. Over here, we've actually got a Dometic heater that runs on propane. It gets things nice and toasty in here, although it does use propane pretty quickly. When we were in Alaska and temperatures around 25 to 27 degrees, we would go through a 20 pound propane tank in about four days. But we were nice and warm. What are you doing, Nettie? Over to the left here, We've got our water filter, which has a half micron filter on it to get any larger sediment out and also UV light to kill any germs in the water, just in case we have to take water from a more questionable source. And I've actually rigged up the plumbing so that we can filter water when we're bringing it in and also as it's going out to the sink and everything else. So. That way we don't get any nasties build up on the inside of our tank. Another important part of our power system that really helps us make it off grid is the three-way fridge. So it can run on 120 volts propane or 12 volts. A lot of the time when we're not plugged in, uh, we'll just run it on propane. So that way it saves our battery and the fridge can run off one propane tank for several weeks. So it really works out well when we're a little bit tight on energy.
liked this video, let us know by liking and subscribing. And don't forget, you can see more of the journey on Instagram and TikTok. Cheers, friends!